Hi, I'm Brian Gardner, Principal Developer Advocate at WP Engine. In today's workshop, we're gonna go through the four different footer patterns found in the Frost theme, and we're gonna learn how to build them and customize them so that you can use them for your own website. Let's get started. Okay, so we are inside of the WordPress site editor. This is new to WordPress 6.3. And on the left-hand side here under the design menu, you can see there's a patterns link. We'll go ahead and click that. And then we'll come over here and click footers. Uh, what this screen shows is the patterns that come with Frost. And as you can see, there are four different variations of patterns that come with Frost uh, in two styles, one with the, the contrast background and one with the base background. And we will go through each one. Uh, this top layer here is the default footer, which you can see here at the bottom of the Frost theme. Uh, basically just a copyright on the left and some social media links on the right. Uh, and so what we will do is go through and build them. Typically what I like to do is just go into a page editor when I build out patterns. And so I'm just going to go ahead and insert the pattern first. And then we could build and insert both of them so we can sort of see what we're working on. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna add a group block because I usually wrap all patterns inside of groups. Uh, and so as you can see here, it, by default, the group block goes to uh, the content width. And so we're gonna select on this toolbar uh, full width. And then uh, inside of that, we will go ahead and add a row. Inside of the row, we wanna select wide width, which will expand it out uh, the 1200 pixels as you can see here. I'm going to open up list view so we can see where we're at. We've got group in the row and, and below here. We just basically have two paragraphs. Uh, and for the sake of um, ease, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this one. I'm going to insert that paragraph here. And then similarly, I'm going to come down to this other one. We'll do a quick copy. And inside of this row, I will add that paragraph. And as you can see, we've got this. Uh, now in the footer for Frost, uh, you can see the two paragraphs are separated and this is a feature of the row block. If you select the row block down here, uh, you can see the justification by default aligns everything to the left. So you have two paragraphs floating against each other to the left. If you come over here to this option, you can see there's a space between items and what that does is it literally puts a space between the items. Uh, lastly, uh, in this case, the uh, font in the footer is a little bit smaller. So uh, I generally come down here to the group and we'll select a smaller font. And now we've got a matching uh, footer to the pattern that comes with Frost. Now, uh, similarly, I will go ahead and build the dark version. So once again, we're going to create a group. We're going to set that group full width. And then inside of that group, we're going to add a row and then set the width of the row to the 1200 pixels wide. Now I'm going to go back to the group block and I'm going to set the colors in it to text. We want it to be white. The background, we want it to be the dark. And then if you go to the three little dots, you also have the ability to enable this link. And what that does is it allows you to set all links that are found inside of that group to a certain color. And in this case, we want white. Uh, and so we are here, we've got our row block. Uh, we wanna add a paragraph. Again, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy what's here. And then we will add another paragraph, copy what's here. I'm gonna close list view so we can see uh, again, we want to select the row down here in the lower left-hand corner and change the justification. And I believe we went to the group and we changed the, the size to small. Uh, and as you can see, uh, we need some padding here. So we're going to uh, go here. On, the group is still selected. So here, padding, where we're going to select uh, whatever padding we want. We could make it really, really big if we want. Uh, we can make it really small. These are the step spacing uh, that comes with Frost. If you want to change to a hard-coded number, we could do that. And I think the default footers come with 30 pixels. And so uh, now we've got this. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is just slide this group down just so we can see where we're at. Now we've built the default footers. 
Okay, now that we've added the default footers, we're gonna go back to the pattern screen and we're gonna do the next uh, patterns here. Down at the bottom, you can see we've got basically three items inside of each footer. We've got a paragraph, another paragraph, and some social media icons. Uh, and so we're gonna go back to the editor and I'm gonna insert these two patterns so we can have them for reference. So we're gonna do this one and then that one. Uh, let me switch these around just so we can. Okay, uh, so with the white one, I'm gonna go ahead and create a group block again, and we're gonna set that to full width as we did the last time. Uh, inside of that, I'm gonna add a row block. We also did that the last time, and we set that uh, maximum width here to 1200 pixels. Uh, the first thing we have here is a paragraph, so I'm gonna just copy this, and up here, I'm gonna add a paragraph, and then paste what I copied. Uh, this is also a paragraph, and so I'm going to go back into my row, and I'm going to add a paragraph, and I'll paste that there. And then I'm going to go back inside of the row, and then I'm going to add uh, social icons. You can see here, uh, I believe we've got Facebook. Put a little fake link in uh, back inside of the social icons block. We'll just add two more, Instagram. Add a fake link, and once more, sometimes you have to click through the breadcrumb, and okay, so we have some work to do, obviously. Uh, before I, I selected the group, what we did was we changed the text down to make things a little bit smaller. Uh, since I'm in the group, I'm also going to go ahead and add the, the padding for the group. You saw that light up. and. Uh, also similar to before, we took the row and we justified items uh, out this way. Now, we're almost there, but as you can see, the social icons here by default come in with color. Uh, and so I'm gonna select the social icons block. And if you click over here, you can see that you have different options. Uh, you could do logos only, pill shape, outline, but you would have to set an icon color there. We're just gonna go back to default. Uh, and we want the icon backgrounds to be black. Uh, to match. So now we've got that one built. I'm just going to go ahead and build the other one. Set the group. Make that full width. Create the row inside of it. Again. Um, add the paragraph. Uh, inside of the row, we want to add another paragraph. Uh, and I omitted this step, we want the row to be wide width. Also, that spans that out, remember. Uh, and then lastly, inside of the row, we want the social icons. I'll just go ahead and add, so we have Facebook. Oops. Instagram, add a fake link. And Twitter. Uh, so we need to separate these out again. We're going to go to the row block or to justification. This spreads them out. I will go back over here. Uh, actually, let me set this group background to black. I want to select the text to white. And remember, three little dots enable the link option. I will set that also to white. I'm still inside the group. I'm going to make the font a little bit smaller. I'm going to add the padding top and bottom. And then the last thing I need to do is come over here to social icons and go to icon background white. And as you can see, we also need to change the icon color because by default that is also white. And so there we have it. Now we have uh, the first of the, the first four patterns uh, inside of Frost. Going back to the pattern screen, we did the top two here. We did the bottom two here. And we will next go to this one right here, the Let's Connect one. Okay, to build these other two, I'm gonna go back into the editor and I went ahead and wiped them out. And like before, I'm just gonna go ahead and add them in so we can have them for reference. Uh, we are gonna build this one and then that one. And so uh, let's take a look at list view in this case. Uh, so we have a group, the, this whole thing is wrapped in a group. Uh, we have a heading, we have a paragraph, we have buttons. 
and we have another paragraph. And so uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to reverse the order of these two just to help make this easier. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add a group, make that group full width. And like we said, this is a heading. I'll copy it down here. So let's add the components first, and then we can style them. So I'm going to add the, I'll copy the paragraph down here. So I'm just going to hit return, which automatically adds the paragraph block. Uh, we've got uh, uh, the get in touch button. I'll just copy that text. So I'm going to add the buttons block. I'm just going to paste this. And then lastly, we have the paragraph. Um, so I will go down here. I'm going to add a, oops, the paragraph. Okay. So now that we have this, uh, I'm going to go back into the group block and I'm going to add some padding. Uh, let's take a look and see the one below what we have for the padding. We've got top padding here set to the extra large, which is a hundred pixels. And then we can see down here at the bottom, uh, I'll hover this, you can see it. Uh, we've got a little bit less padding. So we're going to the second step, which in this case is 40 pixels. Uh, and so I'm gonna go ahead and select the group. I'm gonna come over here and uh, see this is locked. And so if we do this and then select top padding, we can add that. And then if we do it again and then select bottom, then we can do this. And so now that we've got the padding established, uh, let's go ahead and style the heading. I'm going to click down here to see what we're looking at. We've got a H2 uh, with bottom margin set, and then we have the 48 pixel size, and of course it's centered. Uh, so I'm going to come here. I'm going to go and align text center. Uh, then I will change the size of it. And then we have this paragraph text, which all we need to do is center that. And then you come down here to the buttons block, make sure that's selected. Uh, there's options here for uh, how we want to arrange it. We want to justify item center, which will center the button. And then we come down here to the paragraph, and similarly, we want to align that center. Uh, and I believe this paragraph has, again, small typography. We're going to come over here, and we're going to select small. Now, as you can see, there's a little bit more space here in between the two. Uh, and so uh, what we could do is I've got the buttons block selected. Uh, and I've added bottom margin. You can see the margin here that's applied. Uh, and so I'm gonna go back here to the top under buttons and I will uh, again unconnect this and do bottom margin. And so there we have it. We've built this footer pattern. I'll go ahead and rebuild it again uh, in the dark style. So we have uh, the group block, we want to set that um, full width. We had the let's connect heading, go ahead and just add that. We had a paragraph after that. We had the get in touch button. Oops. And then going down here, we're going to add that paragraph. And so the first thing we're going to do now that we have all the components in place is go ahead and apply the styles to the group. Uh, we want this to be the dark. Uh, again, we can go to text and set this to white. Uh, these little three dots link enables that. And as you can see here, uh, by default, the uh, WordPress uh, has a function built in for color contrast. So I've got the group block selected and I'm hovering over the link. And so currently the links are black. So there's a little note here that just says, hey, this is unreadable. This is uh, does not pass contrast test. And so if we select this to white, this will then remove that note because then we'll be passing the accessibility uh, contrast ratios. So we do that. And so we're inside of our group. Uh, again, we want to go ahead and add the padding. So uh, like before, we're going to focus on the top padding, give that 100 pixels, click here, click bottom, uh, we want to do that. And then we'll just go ahead and style the elements. That was 48. Uh, this was centered. Uh, these buttons, we just wanted to move them over. 
uh, this paragraph we wanted to center and change the, oops, the size of it. I think we got it. Uh, and again, we did a bottom margin on these buttons, which I believe, yep. And so we would save it. And now we've got this built. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna do this a uh, little bit more sophisticated uh, footer arrangement here. We've got two options here. So uh, like we've done before, I'm gonna go ahead and just add these patterns inside of the editor. So we've got this one, we've got that one. I will go in here and do that. Uh, again, we'll open up the list view so we can see what we're looking at here. Uh, we've got a group block and inside of the group block, we have columns uh, and each one is set to a certain width. Uh, and so uh, we will go ahead and start with our group as we have in the past. We want that to be full width. Uh, and then we want to add a columns block. Uh, we're going to go ahead and I'll start with 50-50 and then I'll show you how we can uh, add more columns. So I'm going to select the columns block and again we want to go wide width on that. Uh, and over here on the right hand side you can see you have the ability to add more columns. So I'm going to do this because we want four, whoops, we want four columns total. And so uh, on this side we have, in the first column we have, I marked it as an H4. Uh, we'll go ahead and just start with that. We'll do a heading. I'm going to copy the contents here. After the heading, it's just a paragraph. And then down here we've got learn more, which is just the buttons block. Oops. Okay, so we have a lot of work here to do. Um, first thing we're gonna do is uh, go to the reference point down here. So we have columns, let's set the width on our columns. Uh, as you can see here, this column is set to 55%, and then each of the other three over here are set to 15. Uh, and so what I'm gonna just go ahead and do is get into this column. I'm gonna mark this 55. We wanna change that to percentages. And it's just easier to just use list view sometimes. Uh, so I'm going to set each one of these to the proper width. And then we'll take a look and see what we have. Close out a list view. And so now we're, now we're making some progress. Uh, inside each of these, we do have a heading. Just copy. Uh, we've got services. I'm just going to add a heading here. Okay, and this is, we have a, uh, a list here. I'm going to go ahead and just copy this whole list just because it's a little bit easier. We're going to add um, the list. And so you could type in each one of these. I'm just going to go and hit paste uh, so we can work through the building of this. And so we've got another list, copy this, and last but not least, one more list. Okay, so we're mostly there, we just have to do some styling. I'm gonna go back to the group block and do my padding. It looks like I've got 100 pixels top and bottom, so I can just do this. Uh, and then over here, uh, I believe each one of these uh, is going to be an H4, so we could just go ahead and change those. And this text looks a little bit smaller. Uh, I think the entire group is set to the small sizing. And all of a sudden, here we go. Uh, now you can see the button sizes here uh, in the footer down that come with a pattern a little bit smaller. Uh, what we can do is we can select the buttons and uh, we'll go inside of the individual button and come over here uh, and you can change the padding of the buttons and so that's what we'll do. We'll just do something, I believe, maybe one more uh, that we do. So we've, you know, you, you could change it to as big and small as you want. Uh, so this is the way to reduce the way uh, the sizing of this. And so there we have it. Now we've built our four column footer. Um, 
I will go ahead and do this once more just to get through all of them properly. So we have, we want to add our columns block inside of that. Again, we started with this. Uh, going back to the group block, we want to set that to full width. And let's just go ahead and we'll add our padding. We'll change our background color. And we go down to link also similarly do this. Uh, so we want to go to the columns block and change that width become wide width. And we want to add more columns. So I've got the first column selected. That was 55%. Uh, it's hard to see here, but now we're inside of this column. Each of these were 15%. Last but not least. And then again, we had uh, over here, we started with the heading, our company. After that, we had a paragraph. Oops. And then added the button block. And then each of the headings here about us. services and then lastly I'll just copy the lists like I did the last time so we want to add a list paste our name here Okay, now we're gonna change just the heading sizes or the heading itself from an H2 to an H4, which obviously affects the size. Uh, we wanna select the whole group again down here. You can get the whole group selected and we change the size of uh, the font inside of the group. And lastly, we have the button that we wanted to change. I believe we had something similar to that. And just like that, we've walked through and methodically built all of the patterns here that are found within the Frost theme, all eight footer patterns. Uh, and of course you can go in and change colors and set backgrounds to different things. And uh, for instance, here, you could use an outline button if you want and change uh, basically anything you want here, but this is just recreating what we built uh, inside of the Frost theme. So thanks again for watching this workshop and stay tuned. We're gonna be publishing more of these videos of how to build certain patterns because uh, in WordPress, uh, designing patterns is going to be a big thing moving forward, and the ability to do this for clients and products uh, is definitely going to be welcomed. Thanks again, and have a great day.